हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट व्हाट आर एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल्स एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दी वीडियो व्हाट आर एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल्स सो दे नेम इंडिकेट दैट दीज आर द सेल्स व्हिच जस्ट प्रेजेंट द एंटीजन टू द टी लिम्फोसाइट्स बिकॉज वी नो दैट टी सेल्स दे डू नॉट रिएक्ट और दे डू नॉट रिकोगनाइज द एंटीजन अलोन दे ओनली रिकोगनाइज द एंटीजन वेन इट comes in the combination or in the complex with mhc so these antigen presenting cells they display the antigen which is complex with the mhc that is major histo compatibility complex means they first bind this antigen to the mhc molecule now this complex of antigen and mhc molecule is displayed on their surface so in this way they present the antigen to the t lymphocytes and the process is known as the antigen presentations like this dendritic cell macrophages b lymphocytes so all these are example of antigen presenting cells now the types of antigen presenting cells so antigen presenting cells are categorized into two groups professional antigen presenting cells and non professional antigen presenting cells first professional antigen presenting cells so these cells they have class 2 mhc molecules means they just internalize the antigen and degrade that antigen into the small peptide fragments and this peptide fragment is now complexed with the class 2 mhc molecule and finally this complex of antigen and class 2 mhc molecule is now expressed or now displayed on their surface and this antigen is now you can say now it is visualized or visualized to t lymphocytes and t lymphocytes they just come and interact with this complex of antigen and mhc class 2 molecule so the cells which have class 2 mhc molecules and help or can show the property of antigen presentation these are known as the professional antigen presenting cells example of these professional antigen presenting cells they include dendritic cells macrophages and b cells so first is a dendritic cell so its name is just given because it is covered with the long membrane extension that resembles the dendrites of nerve cells so that's why known as the dendritic or that's why the name given as the dendritic cells generally there are four types of dendritic cell that is langerhans cells interstitial cell dendritic cells myeloid cells and lymphoid dendritic cells these dendritic cells they are very potent antigen presenting cells as compared to macrophages and b cells because they express the high level of class 2 mhc molecule and they also express the co-stimulatory b7 molecule the second professional antigen presenting cell is macrophages so these macrophages they are present or you can say these are dispersed throughout the body they have pattern recognition molecule that recognize and ultimately bind to specific microbe associated molecular pattern on the pathogen which ultimately induce the phagocytosis so macrophages they can be stimulated by t cell secretion of interferon gamma and after the activation the macrophages are able to express class 2 mhc molecule and co-stimulatory molecule that is b7 complex and it can present the phagocytosed antigen to the helper t cells so by this way the macrophages also act as a professional antigen presenting cell third is the b lymphocytes so these are called as b lymphocytes because they get their name from the site of maturation that is bursa of fabricus which is present in the buds the bone marrow is the major site where this b lymphocytes they mature the b lymphocytes in case of adult human mature in the bone marrow while in case of fetus they develop or mature in the liver the b cells they can also just internalize the antigens when the antigen bind to their surface so they just internalize the antigen and present this antigen to the t helper cells they can also recognize the soluble antigens for which their b cell is very much specific and they can just process the antigen means they just degrade the antigen into smaller fragments and now this small peptides they are bind to the class 2 mhc molecule when a t helper cell which have a specific t cell receptor for that particular peptide it binds so the b cell marker that is cd40 it bind to the cd40l on the t cell surface 
when activated by the T cell, the B cell can undergo maturation and as well as formation of memory cell will be there. So, by this way, this B lymphocyte also, also act as the professional antigen presenting cell. Now, the second category of antigen presenting cell is non professional antigen presenting cell. So, all the nucleated cells they come under the category of non professional antigen presenting cell. They express class 1 MHC molecule which is coupled to the beta 2 microglobulin which just display the endogenous peptide to their cell membrane. These peptides they originate within the cell itself and the cytotoxic T cells they are able to interact with these endogenous antigens presented using the class 1 MHC molecule. These non-professional antigen presenting cells they do not express class 2 molecule. However, it has been observed that antigen presentation to T helper cell via MHC class 2 is not only restricted to this professional antigen presenting cell, other leukocytes including granulocytes like mast cells and neutrophils they can also do this same. So, this is all about the antigen presenting cells and their category that is professional antigen presenting cell and non-professional antigen presenting cell. So, that's all for today guys. See you in the next video.